Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Power World, and you can see that it is an awesome game. However, there are a few issues when it comes to crashing and there's some generic issues. I'm going to show you in this video some things that you can do to fix crashing, stuttering, um, lagging, all kinds of stuff in order to make your game run smoother. Now, first and foremost, if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel. All right, so... The first thing that you're going to want to check out, if you're able to get into the game, you want to check out your graphic settings because a lot of people will accidentally do a few things. Even though your graphics card might not be capable of it, you might be setting your max FPS too high. If you want to put a limit on it, drop it down to like 60. That'll help you out a ton. So your graphics card's not working too much. V-Sync, again, you should leave that on, but it's up to you. Uh, turn motion blur off. It costs you a ton of uh, graphics capabilities. Just be aware of that. If you want to drop some of these things down, you can drop them down without noticeable differences to high. And then medium will make most graphics cards run incredibly smooth. For DLSS, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, what you want to aim for is you can turn that to performance based and that should help you out instead of quality. Per quality is going to give you better overall quality on the screen, whereas performance is going to make your computer run smoother. Now, another thing, my field of view is cranked all the way up. However, you can crank that down in order to actually get a smaller screen, making it easier to run. You should turn off camera shake and then leave this at one. Now, those settings should help most people kind of prevent some of the lag and some of the graphic shenanigans that people are experiencing inside of this game. And if that's not working for you because you can't get into this game in the first place, what you can do is pretty simple. So we're going to go ahead and back out and I'm going to return to the title menu. Um, and basically, I'm going to show you a setting that you can go to inside of Steam that you can use. I'll go ahead and pull this up for you. So if you go to your Steam library, what you can do is you can actually a verify integrity of your game server if you've never done that before or your game files. Now, what that means is you're going to go ahead and make sure that everything's working well on your game and nothing got corrupted. So you would go to uh, your actual PAL world, right click on it, and then basically you've got a few different options. You can see you can add to manage and then properties. If you go to properties, what it's going to give you is it's going to show you all of the stuff that you have for this game. Now, if you go to installed files, you can then click on verify integrity of game files. Now, it's going to take a little while while this runs. It's going to check every single file to make sure it's the same one that you downloaded. And if it's not the same one that you downloaded, what it's going to do is it's going to pull those files from the original game and actually reinstall them onto your computer to fix anything that would have been corrupted. Now, some computers, depending on the speed and what you have in your computer, are going to take a long time to do this. And some, uh, some will be pretty quick, but if you're having issues crashing, there's a good chance that there was a file that got corrupted or something along those lines. So running this is a great thing, even if you're just checking them every now and then, because just because you don't have a corrupt file doesn't mean you, I mean, don't notice a corrupt file doesn't mean there isn't one. So running this every now and then is a good idea. And it's going to tell you, hey, you're fine. There's nothing wrong. Or it's going to say, hey, we downloaded six new files. Um, and you can see that there's 509 files validated successfully. And that is a awesome little trick. Now, if you aren't able to get into the game, that's a good strategy, obviously. But if you are able to get into the game and you're still having issues, there's a few things that you can do. Um, another thing, and these are just ideas, by the way. So like, this isn't going to work for everybody, but hopefully it does. If your computer is having a hard time running this game, it's probably because you're playing in solo player and your computer is the one having to run all the graphics and do everything and run the entire server. You can rent your own server. If you look below in the link, I've got a G portal link. That's my company that I use when I'm playing. And then you can join the multiplayer game inside of that. And that's going to take a little bit of wear and tear off of your PC and hopefully run things faster. Again, if you look in the link below, there's a rent link and uh, you can actually click and uh, I'll give you 5% off because you have my name as well. Now, those are all awesome things. If you go back to your options, there's a few other things that we can do. Nothing super big, by the way, but like if you go through your individual settings and you kind of turn your generic settings down in general, the further you go down, the better it's going to run and more smoothly. So anyways, hopefully these little tricks and tidbits help you. And the last thing, I know this is a stupid thing. However, one of the easiest fixes that I've had in Pal World is because while you're playing the game, sometimes it'll just get corrupt while you're playing. If you just log out and log back in, I'm going to say 90% of your issues are going to be fixed right away. 
because it's going to basically restart everything from scratch and kind of go to your last save point. So logging out and logging back in, totally closing it down and totally opening it back up will be your kind of like last fix. Um, but that's what I've had to do before. So hopefully these little fixes help you out. And other than that, teach. Ow.